continue on, and this is where I mean that Drake, that there, this is possibly a reason why J. Cole backed out. There's probably something simmering, and this is according to uh, Rory and Maul's podcast. Maul claimed that uh, Drake told him this. So let's go over the article first, and then I'll go into a little bit more. In the latest episode of the new Royal Mall podcast, Mall claimed that Drizzy told him he had doubts about joining Cole on stage at this past weekend's Dreamville Festival, where the North Carolina rap star controversially apologized to Kendrick Lamar for firing back at him on 7-Minute Drill. He said this, You might get mad at me for talking about, uh, for talking about, but he knows he's my guy. I asked Drake one question. I said, Yo, you going to Dreamville Fest this weekend? Mall said, and he gave me an answer that was kind of weird Friday night hearing it, but Sunday night it made all the sense in the world. He says, I don't know, should I? Because it's weird right now. Are we performing the record? Can we ever perform first-person shooter? The podcaster continued to relay Drake's response seemingly in his own words. He has to change the bar now. He has to shit on Kendrick now. So we're going to shit on Kendrick every time we do the record. Nobody wants to hear us together unless we diss on Kendrick. That's the wild thing out of this whole thing. Kendrick Lamar literally ruined their first-person shooter record because now it just it sounds weird. The big three isn't me, Kendrick, and me. Like, it's just Muhammad Ali. You know, like, it just sounds... That whole record now, I can't even listen to it anymore. Because you can't believe it, and it's just... And I heard rumors that that first-person shooter record was originally supposed to have all three of them on the track. And apparently somebody from Drake's team, or I don't know what, whose team, maybe J. Cole reached out and tried to get Kendrick on the track. Kendrick wanted no parts of it. That's a rumor. I don't know if it's true. I'm just saying I heard it from... I don't know who I heard it from, man. A producer or something like that, I think, if I remember. But yeah, they try to get the big three on there. By the way, when you guys listen, when, when there's a big three, we're talking currently right now. We're not talking of all of hip-hop that they're their biggest ever. Relax, guys, because I know some people comment, oh, what about Eminem? He's a big three. Like, relax, guys. You know, there's other artists, Kanye, Big, that are huge, Lil Wayne, whatever, all these other artists, Jay-Z, whoever. We're just talking right now currently in hip-hop who dominate mostly on the charts, who are the ones that people check for the most. And Eminem, Jay-Z, Kanye, and all these other people had their chance, had their time. Now, Kanye's still relevant, got number one hit. Shout out to him. Vultures was a huge success, but he's not in the big three conversations. Regardless, that record first-person shooter was supposed to have all three of them on there, which would have been crazy. I actually would have enjoyed that, but didn't happen. Drake, J. Cole. Drake and J. Cole got closer, went on tour together, so on and so forth. You know, this, with Drake saying, I don't know if I should should join the Dreamville Festival because it's weird now performing the track because of everything that's going on with the Kendrick thing. Maybe there's something simmering behind the scenes with J. Cole and Drake that something went wrong. That Drake was like, listen, uh, you know, now it's looking really weird. Are you going to side with me in this battle? Or are you going to side with your friend that you've known for a while, Kendrick Lamar? What are you going to do? Uh, maybe Drake put a battery in J. Cole's back to respond to Kendrick Lamar. Maybe J. Cole regretted that and was like, ah, man, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have felt the pressure because... It's mainly Drake and Kendrick's battle. And personally, I if Drake will never respond to Kendrick, I would have no issues with it. Because, like I said, like that is mainly a shot at Drake. Like 80% is at Drake, 20% is at J. Cole. So, you know, if, they, if J. Cole never responded, I would have been perfectly fine with that. But this is worse than not responding. Like dropping the track and then backtracking it two days later just is bad. Um, so that's what Maul said, that Drake was like, eh, I don't know if I should be at the Dreamville Festival. Things are looking a little weird. 